Hi, I'm Chase from Chase and Malia. Welcome back to our channel. This is our second video in our series about my new pedal board. In this video, we are building the case. I started with a box, I covered that box in vinyl, and then I screwed in the hardware. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Now we need to do the case. So I need to be, build a larger box to encompass our smaller box. So we added a full inch, even though this is three eighths of an inch, we added a full inch on either side and we're now constructing the outer box, which is gonna ultimately be the case. This is all gonna be covered in Tolex, so it doesn't really matter how pretty it is. Um, we're just trying to make it square. So now we're putting together the box, the outside case. We cut some uh, little triangles to reinforce the corners. We're hoping that it's gonna be strong enough to be a protective case. So now we have the case. The case box is here. We finished it. It's more square than my original, my uh, the actual pedal board, but it's gonna be perfect. This is where the routing for the latches are gonna go. We've even tested these tearaway, and they actually took some figuring out, believe it or not. But we figured it out, and now the whole thing is together. It's stapled, it's sanded, it's good to go. What's next is to apply the uh, vinyl and the finishing touches to the entire project. This is industrial strength adhesive. Now, let's look at the back. Those are a bunch of scary symbols. It says to join to both surfaces, allow three to five minutes of drying until tacky. Now the reason why this stuff works so well is because it sticks to itself. So you have to spray one side and you have to spray the other side. Throughout the night, Malia and I were able to cut different pieces, join them with this spray adhesive. We were in a well-ventilated area. I was wearing a mask. I made sure not to breathe in any of the vapors if I could help it. You need to be very serious with this stuff because it's, it's dangerous and it is not good for you if you get it in your lungs. It's extremely flammable. If you get it in your eyes, if you get it on your skin, make sure you wash it. Read the directions and make sure that you take it seriously. I got this adhesive from West Coast Pedal Board and it worked great on all the fabrics that I used. I used vinyl for the case, I used the super loop fabric for the pedal board, and then I also added, as you can tell, a canvas overlay that was just decorative, something we found at a fabric store. So these are what are called tearaway hinges. One piece is a bar, the other piece is a hook. So one piece sits flat in the case and the other piece hooks on and in and goes up. That way when it comes down, you can unhook it. But the problem is that when it hooks in, if it goes down, all of a sudden you've got a pinch point and you'll bend it. If you can't tell, I've already bent mine a little bit. So this is kind of a tricky thing to, to navigate. One thing that I'm trying to, I'm going to do to, in order to keep pressure on it so that it'll stay up and hooked into the bar is I'm adding these feet. 
these little feet. I got some extra feet in my order from West Coast Pedal Board and I'm going to attach them here to press against the back of the board. Something that's important, when you're working with a nice piece of wood, you don't want to use big, strong drills. If you screw it in too hard and too fast, it could crack the wood. You should always pre-drill, especially when you're working with something soft. This is, uh, this is cedar, so cedar is really soft. Um, a lot of other woods are more brittle, and so they will pop and crack if you try to force a screw in there. I've been pre-drilling holes, and I'm using hand tools to fasten on the hardware. So one thing I want to make sure that you know, with this handle kit, you want the handle when it comes up to be able to extend and then when you put it down, you want it to lay flat. So when you screw these holes, make sure that the brackets are on the inside of the hole. That way when they come up, it can come out and now you can go up and then when you put it down, it lays flat. Okay, so you want to make sure it has space to move. So you really want your handle to be centered. One way to do that is I set my handle down. I measured from the long sides of the board. I've got nine inches to the first grommet of the handle. Measure the other side. Nine inches. Great. So now we're centered this way. Now we need to be centered this way. Same exact thing. I'm two and a half inches from this side. Let's go to the other side. Two and a half inches. Go to this side. Two and a half inches. Well, it was two and a quarter, but I bumped it. And now we're two and a half inches on all sides. So now that it's equidistant on the long side, equidistant on the short side, we should have a nice centered handle. Now that we've got the handle centered, I'd like to mark it just in case it moves during installation. You just need to mark it on one side because it should be the same on both sides. That's the whole point of it being square. Okay? So, should be good. If you want to build your own pedal board, use West Coast Pedal Board. They've given me a discount code, which you can find in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful if you want to build a case for your pedal board. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. It really helps out our channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in our next video where I wire the electronics.